One of many fine electrified jazz bands to emerge in 1976 was the German act Humus, a quintet that released the album Offshore that year, and from that album, the track Free Away. <laughs> Okay, all right, we got this really catchy sax riff over a fluid bass line. Yeah, very hummable uh, sax riff and um, some really great drumming too, like uh, snare and drum roll and, and like tom rolls and such. Um, Okay, one uh, sonic problem here. Uh, this was recorded live. Can't really seem to hear the uh, keyboardist much. Uh, the person in question being Otmar Desch, who plays electric piano and synthesizer. This is supposed to be one of his moments. Yeah, here you can hear the bass, you can hear the drums, but... I'm hearing some tinkly fender, faintly, but it's just too far away. That's, that's really too bad they didn't mic him properly. Yeah, this was recorded live um, on uh, <clears throat> July 14th. 1976 in the Plain studio in Dortmund. Uh, Plain be I guess being the house studio of the Plain Records label on which this album is issued. Well, pretty uh, fluid tight bass line here. Strong drumming. One could only imagine what that uh, Fender solo must be like. I don't know what the issue is. Either um, they just didn't uh, set up a mic nearby him or close enough to him, or the mic that they gave him just was like matted or muted or accidentally turned off or something. Another uh, another uh, good track to be sort of afflicted by the same issue um, for about a minute of its length anyway is The Lion, where he gets like like a 60 to 90 second solo that you can barely hear, sadly. It's an otherwise good track, though. I want that sax solo to come back. I think we might be emerging. Some good bass. This is more the bass solo now. I kind of gunned it. I kind of, yeah, I, I uh, skipped a few. It's funny, I pressed the kind of fa I, I pressed the arrow and you could barely tell. Okay, that sax solo um, is given to us by Rediger Scholes, who I think, um, let's see, is he the band leader behind this? Um, he, uh, well, he has four credits according to Discogs, the two Hummus albums, uh, Offshore and the 1978, I believe, released Chess Music. Uh, <laughs> That was
is Free Away, abbreviated by Hummus. I um, had to fast forward through some of it, but a really strong uh, sax riff and a uh, strong uh, bass and, and snare roll interplay on that track. Uh, let's go to a longer piece, uh, Legend of an Unknown Girl. I think I can hear the keyboard just a bit better on here. Okay, we're getting kind of uh, an odd meter sort of figure right here on, on bass. And... A bit more of kind of like a kind of like a space rocky vibe almost in that big and kind of in that circular kind of progression. <laughs> For for a minute, it was almost reminding me of uh, Band X. It's about time I introduced. Um, let's see, electric bass, um, Ed Brumman Ruther, who. Um, Let's see. Oh, has eight credits according to Scoggs. Um, played on on some other German jazz releases during the between the mid seventies and, and early eighties. And uh, our sadly muted keyboardist um, Otmar Desch. Hmm, this album was his only credit according to Scoggs. On drums we got Gernot Meyer. Um, once again, a limited list of credits, uh, huh, one considerably far off from the, and, uh, who else? That pretty much covers it. Actually, um, how that, they list four members in the credits, although I see five pictures. Um, huh, I can't, I, so I'm not, I'm uncertain, oh, I guess it, it's a quartet, yeah, despite there being five, five photos on the back, yeah, it's a quartet. Did anyone, was anyone able to count that? I was trying to count this, but then I again I think ah just just let it go, just enjoy the music. The problem with counting is that where do, where, where does it, where where does it start? Yeah, I can't find the start start of the the figure, start of the progression, start of the. We're getting another keyboard solo here that you can barely hear. It's 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 like you just gotta kind of follow the bass and drums. I wonder if if this was ever to be reissued. I'm wondering if there's a way they could maybe increase the volume. Probably only, only if they had the master tapes, maybe. Funny enough, when I first worked through this album, like like five six years ago, I was just so taken, I guess, by the the rhythmic quality, the rhythmic structures and such, and some of the. The, the more standout like sax riffs that I, I didn't even notice that problem with the keyboardist. It was... Getting a lot of cymbal spray here. It's 
quite a bass line. The, the last track was kind of like post-bop in orientation, like save for like the electric piano that you could barely hear. This track um, is kind of like a, I, I don't know, in some in, in some sort of mid space between like, well, kind of like, like sort of a trippy kind of like space rock bass ostinato, or that could be theoretically anyway, and and like post bop in the drumming. <laughs> Okay, now we've gotten something much more. We, we've got, got like a like a fuzz bass going on. Yeah, the bassist has really changed his tone. It's kind of taking on more of a Hugh Hopper type type tone. It's definitely like moments like this that were staying out to me that were making me think, oh yeah, this is really, this one's a winner. And... just smoldering with those thick fuzzy slabs of notes. <laughs> Of course, the solo is, is, is so different from the last bit he was playing, not, not just in tone, not just in its fullness and its thickness and its presence. It's, it's, it's like, because he was playing like this, this like kind of windy circular figure in this odd meter, like for the first few minutes. And now he's just kind of fiddling around. <laughs> Yeah, we don't really have a figure here. It's it's the drumming here that's just keeping it together. Uh, I was wondering when we were... I was, I, I'm curious to see what the sax will do because it slipped my mind. I'm glad to say that I did hear those little uh, fender fills amid those drum rolls that that broke up the between the last and current section. <laughs> Sustained tones. Yeah, uh, uh, Rudiger Scholz plays tenor and soprano sax on this album. <laughs>
Here I'm stretch those notes out. the way he went in those higher notes. <laughs> Notice how the structure, like the bass pattern, has, has ch is, is drastically different once again. And that, now it's just kind of like playing like a two-note sequence. Da, na, 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 like, like a half step. <laughs> Inspired this title, Legend of an Unknown Girl. Maybe it's about that uh, Swedish Jane Doe from nineteen seventy. with Legend of an Unknown Girl and before that Free Away from their 1976 album Offshore, their first of two. Yes, one of many fine jazz rock acts to emerge on the German scene that year. And, um, oh, according to RYM, this band has ties to, um, oh, well, a few acts that record later on. Um, None of which I'm really all that familiar with, I gotta say. The Raphael Jung Trio, Esme Tango. Actually, um, a quick check of that reveals those are all 90s era acts. I imagine that at least some of these, at least one of these people probably became a music professor or um, played in like German big bands. Um, yeah. That seems to be the. It, it, there was um, there was that brief period of time where you had these really talented jazz players that moved into the electrified jazz realm and then ultimately became studio musicians and the like. Yeah. Anyway, for more rubies and sapphires from the Humus album Offshore, see the directory of albums by German artists linked in the description below for Red Hot Tracks and Purples from over like 1,100 German albums from the 70s and 80s, including many um, jazz rock uh, bands and artists, you know, like um, Miss Us Beastly, um, Missing Link. Uh, yeah, the list goes on and on and on and on. Um, like and subscribe and follow me on social media and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard the best moment the best solo the best figure the best ostinato pattern yeah if you could count the odd time signatures when they appeared yeah and uh yeah let me know about that and until next time this is aragon the world's most air travel trimaximist signing off